All right, people have been misinterpreting my feelings about Sony. I do not hate Sony, and I am not a fanboy, okay? All right, Sony is a good system. The PS2 was excellent. Love the PS2. PS1 also. Now, the reason I don't like Sony is that they've forgotten their true value of gaming. All right. Back in the day, you know what made Sony so successful? Great games. They had great games on their system. That's the only reason they could even compete with Nintendo. The other, There was a bunch of other systems, Sega and all these other ones that tried to compete with Sony and Nintendo, but they failed because they did not have good system selling games. Now, Sony did good with 1 and 2, <coughs> but 3 and the portable, they decided to go with the new approach and add all this other crap on. Alright? It's called S Sony Computer Entertainment System, and they're adding all this other crap on. Like, um, the PlayStation, the PSP, it would have been a lot better if they spent more time on the games than on UMDs and all this other crap that they fit into the PSP. It would have been really good if they had some a great, good, solid game that would work with the controls. But all I see on the PSP are crappy PlayStation 2 ports and um, original games that some are good, some are bad. The PlayStation 3. Alright, the reason this is failing is not because it's too expensive. That is not the reason. It's the same price as the Xbox 360. Now, the reason it's failing right now is because Blu-ray number one, or Blu-ray. Okay, nobody cares right now. Every, people are still switching to DVD. Believe it or not, it's true. People still use crappy VHS crap tapes. People still use them. It's people still buy them. Sony has to realize that pushing a new format on someone is very difficult. You do not have a really broad fan base that will buy into you no matter what. Now, um, it's Blu-ray and HD DVDs at a stalemate. Now, a lot of Sony fanboys d say that the 360 is bad because it doesn't have an HD DVD player. That's the reason it's selling, okay? No one wants to watch Blu-ray movies right now because they're 40 bucks. HD DVD is at least 30 but Blu-ray discs are $40 for a movie. That's ridiculous. People are still complaining about 20 Okay? And you gotta see that that's why the PlayStation 3 is losing. Also, another factor is that in order to get the best quality of Blu-ray, you have to have HD television. And the 360 didn't want to go that route because a lot of people do not have HD televisions. In fact, out of all television users, HD television is only about 15 or 25 percent of the market. That's pretty bad to start charging into that format full on when it might not even catch on. This is a very Sony is just making very bad decisions. They're trying to make the PlayStation 3 a computer. It's not a computer. It's supposed to be awesome games. No, it's not a computer. That's what they're trying to tell you it is. PlayStation Home, another factor. Alright, you guys say, oh, our online is free. Yeah, but your, ex but your downloadable content, I've used it, and it costs more than the 360. So, that's, that's the price of having free. I mean... It's good and all. I like the online system. It's just not Xbox Live, man. Xbox Live is a lot better than PlayStation Network or PlayStation Home could probably ever be. And that's because people pay into it. Alright, you get what you pay for. Another thing Sony fanboys say that really pisses me off is that the Xbox 360 is going to fail now that Halo 3 is out. Because that's all that there's ever going to sell. Wrong. We st they stole your guys' exclusives, and trust me, as long as Microsoft has the name of Xbox, it's not gonna die. Look at Windows. <laughs> anyway, 
that's my rant because you guys are complete idiots. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You need to straighten your facts. Okay, the, the, there's no way the 360 is going to die right now. And you are so close to dying, it's not even funny. Right now. Okay? Look. I, I don't want the PlayStation 3 to fail. I really don't. Because then Nintendo and Microsoft will be... It's not good two ways. There has to be a third competitor or things are going to get pricey. And nothing's ever good like that. But the PS3 is really losing and Sony needs to smarten up.